Welcome. So what I have here, ladies and gentlemen, is log base 36 of 6. Um, and what exactly is that going to be? So again, what we're trying to do is find 36 raised to what power is going to give us 6. Huh. OK, so when we look at this, um, and we can just go and choose you know, our numbers, 36 to the 36 to 0, 36 to the first, 36 to the squared. Um, obviously, I know that answer is 1. I know that answer is 36. I do not know 36 squared, but I obviously I know that 36 squared is not going to be 6. So the next thing that we did is let's go and take a look at the negative numbers, right? So what about if I did 36 to the negative first, 36 um, to the negative second? Well, that's just going to leave me with uh, 1 over 36, and that's just going to leave me with 1 over 36 squared. Both of those numbers, I know, are still not going to give me 36. So 36 raised to what number gives me 6? So I've already talked about positive whole numbers. I've already talked about um, negative whole numbers. But I haven't talked about fractions with, or, or just rational, um, rational numbers that, are not gonna, that cannot be written as integers. So let's go and start taking a look at it and seeing you know, 36. And there's a couple ways you guys can look at this. If I have this. 36 raised to what number, I'm sorry, 36 raised to what number equals 6. So what this is going to start doing is start kind of going back to our 1 to 1 properties that we looked at with exponents. And when looking at this, what we can say is, well, I want to see, can I rewrite these with the same base? And yeah, of course, you can rewrite this as 6 squared x equals 6. Right? So you, what you want to do is be able to see, can I rewrite 36 and 6 as the same base? Well, when the properties of exponents tell you to multiply, so 6 to 2x equals 6. Now, by applying the 1 to 1 property, um, I know that that's now going to have 2x is going to equal 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2. That's to the first power, sorry. x equals 1 half. So therefore, this answer is x to the 1 half power. Let's go and take a look at that. Is 36 to the 1 half power equal to 6? Well, remember, what does a rational, um, what does a rational power represent? Remember, it represents a, represents a root. So we can rewrite this as the square root of 36, which we obviously know is going to equal 6. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate a logarith logarithm with a larger base than what you're evaluating for. Thanks.